Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's continue first. Let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Let's start with what happened in the past, what were the challenges there, what are some of the lessons that you should have already learned, other way they will be repeated. Don't deal with a conflictual person, a person that has a big ego, who wants to win every fight and does not want to save the connection, they know that this can damage the relationship, but they have that big of an ego that they don't care. Don't focus on those people, try to avoid them and not give them attention. And I think sometimes you have to accept that the cycle may have ended, is already being closed, it's over. Some connections are just for learning lessons, or some of them are very karmic and uh, are those type of relationships that help us indeed in fact to to grow to step up into a into a better energy energetic level now let's see about what is affecting you right now in your subconscious that you may not be aware of you do think a lot about them you think about meeting them or you can't stop thinking about the past and you criticize yourself a lot, but this person was not that honest with you. They may have been manipulative, and you know that. Do you want to give another chance to them? Your subconscious mind is very aware of that, and that's why there's this tension and inner conflict. What about how do you view this situation? You don't expect any communication from them, any expression of love or feelings or them coming towards you as a prince or princess charming. You expect instead dramas and conflicts if the conversation initiated right now. What you want to avoid is just waiting for no reason at all, waiting for a lifetime and seeing very little progress or none at all. That's something you want to avoid. Also, if you are feeling like they are ignoring you or they are turning their back to you, it's something uh, that feels very bitter and uh, you don't like it at all. <coughs> Let's see more details. What you are hoping for is to find that loving relationship, that twin flame connection, that relationship that feels so natural, easy flowing, and without any friction at all. What you fear is that this person may have already chosen another partner, and they have already made that decision. While you think a lot about another chance, they may have already chosen another person. And that is your fear. Now let's see about your current energies. This relationship did serve you well. You learned some very good lessons. I see you being more stable emotionally, more mature, more responsible, more content and in your power. I think that you have changed so much, you may be aware of that or not, but you have changed so much for the better that every new potential that comes your way seems very mature, seems like it's not the right option or opportunity for you. You have so much love to give, but you want to give to somebody that really deserves that. 
and is ready to be mutual in this exchange of love and interest. Now let's see about this person that is currently in your mind. Let's see about their energies towards you. They want to bring up cooperation with you. They want to work on this connection, to put more efforts into it, and to try to make it successful. At the bottom I have the Ten of Pentacles. E they even think that you are the, their best option for something stable long term and the right possible partner to build uh, a legacy with. They have been trying to date other people, but they got more confused. But then they got clarity. The clarity was that you were the only partner suitable for them. Now, did they get clarity about that? Yes, they did. But I still see them stuck in their head. They do miss you a lot. But let's see, why are they stuck in their head? The Eight of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. So they are not sh quite sure if by putting more efforts and energy into this connection will provide fav favorable or will produce any good results. They are not sure if it is really a cycle that has ended there. They know that if there's more mutual respect and cooperation and working as a team with each other, uh, the chances for building something solid, more solid than before, are highly uh, possible. Their biggest fear is the Four of Cups, that you have lost interest, or you may still have interest, but you don't want to give another chance to them. Let explore more about that in the full video, in the extended that I will continue just now. If you are interested, you can find it now in the description box below. Uh, subscribe for more videos and like and share uh, this video if you want to help the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.